We ended up moving the chickens into basically their winter coop here. We're gonna keep them closed up for a week or two and uh, let them kind of figure out this is their home. In the meantime, I've moved the portable coop. We've absolutely loved that thing. We just move them around the garden, they clean stuff up, cut down our feed costs. Woo! putting golf balls in their nesting boxes just to help them figure out that this is where they're supposed to lay their eggs. We haven't got an egg yet. These guys are getting pretty close when they should be. Generally Buff Orvington's a larger breed. We'll start laying somewhere around the 27, 28 week mark. So one of the things I want to do is get uh, one of my new trail cameras put out. Deer season really isn't that far away. Realistically I should have put this out a while ago but I've just been so busy and I want to get this out here. Got a new camera, one of the big features I really look for in trail cameras is actually just the trigger speed. I cannot tell you how many times I've been let down just get the picture rear end of something. Um, even after de deer season, getting a deer, you know, cleaning up and just throwing the bones out and putting the trail cam, hoping to catch wolf or coyote or something dragging off. I cannot tell you how many times I've been let down, the whole entire carcass is gone and there's like hardly any photos. So. It's a little frustrating, but I want to give this one a try here. This one looks pretty promising, and uh, we'll go get this out. I think I know someone that will probably want to come with. Hey, you want to come with? Okay. We got a lot of trails like this that come out of the woods that the deer use. I need to pick one of these and see if we can just set the camera up and see if we can capture anything coming in and out and, and just get an idea on what's moving around this area. So we've had a lot of wet weather here lately. This last week has finally dried up and that has really kicked a lot of the farmers off into high gear here trying to get all their crops pulled here. I think it could be a very tough deer season if they don't end up getting stuff pulled because a lot of times the deer will go and hide in a you know, field of corn and really don't have any reason to come out and can make for a very slow and tough deer hunting season. <laughs> one area we seem to see a lot of deer go in and out. You can see the dogs even smelling a bunch here. So this is the camera I have here. The one thing I do like about the mounting system on this is it has a plate like this. So we can mount this to a tree, get it nice and secure, and then just slide the camera right on.
it's already starting to get dark. You know, I don't mind the winter, the cold temperatures, but it's just the short days, they just really get to me. So I'm really hoping this trail cam works out really well for us. It's supposed to have a really good quick uh, trigger speed on this so it takes pictures really quickly. Um, one thing I've struggled with the last couple years or I've actually had several cameras get ruined is generally I keep my cameras up year round and then a lot of times I get into the summer months and I've had several times where ants have actually gotten into the trail cameras and must have shorted something out in the electric board. Last year I think I lost two or three cameras so that's been a little bit of a frustrating thing. Got the chickens obviously moved into the winter coop here. I pulled down the Premier One uh, portable fencing that we use to help protect them. There's an electric solar charger that goes along with that. I got that all disassembled, batteries disconnected and brought inside to a warm environment. So hopefully that will stay nice and good over the winter. The netting I'm actually gonna hang up out in the pole barn. I'm gonna bundle it all up and actually physically hang it up and off the ground just so no mice get into it uh, if there's any potential with that. Wanted to give you guys a heads up on Friday's video. It's gonna be something a little bit different. We're actually partaking in a collaboration being put on by Prep Setter Bob. It's gonna be 10 different channels partaking in this and it's gonna be kind of a little, quick little one minute highlight reel of all the different channels. So that should be something pretty fun and interesting and, and different to, to showcase here. Um, if there's any channels that perk your interest, I would definitely encourage you to go over, check out their channel and uh, click that subscribe button. Strike a match, start a fire, we can burn, I don't mind Breathe the smoke through your lungs, paradise, here we come Jump out.